Hi, I'm Daniel with Arts Cyclery, and today we're going to go over how to adjust SRAM traditional front derailleurs. SRAM traditional front derailleurs have the same basic adjustments as all other front derailleurs. You have an inner limit screw, an outer limit screw, and a cable anchor adjustment. The first step is to get the front derailleur at the right height. That's done either with the brazon bolt here, if the frame had a brazon built into it, or uh, at the band, like we, we are on this particular derailleur. Now we want the bottom of the derailleur cage to be one to three millimeters off of the top of the big chain ring teeth. And we want this outer edge of the cage to be parallel with the big ring. And we're all set. Now we're going to adjust our inner limit screw. In order to get the adjustment right, we need to shift the rear derailleur into the largest cog. And we want the chain here to be as close to the inside of the derailleur cage as possible without actually touching it. So this derailleur cage needs to come out. And we're going to do that by turning this uh, inner limit screw in. It helps to pull out on the front derailleur while you do that. Um, makes it a little bit easier to turn. And you can just turn the cranks there to make sure that the chain's clearing. That's uh, a little too far. Back it off. And there we go. So now we need to adjust our cable tension, and we do that here at the cable anchor. So first, loosen the anchor, pull the cable tight with your fingers. You can use needle nose pliers too, and then tighten it down. So now we'll do a few test shifts up to the big chain ring. Let's see how it's shifting. If it's not quite making it up there, uh, it could be a problem with our cable tension being uh, not tight enough. Uh, or it could be that the outer limit screw um, needs to be backed off just a little bit. And uh, if you experiment with that screw a little bit and your cable tension, it'll be pretty clear which one it is. And so now it's time to set our outer limit screw. And uh, we want to do a few test shifts in order to get that adjustment done right. So if the chain was uh, wanting to throw off this way, then that means that we need to turn the outer limit screw in just a little bit. Um, if it was having trouble getting up there, then we'd need to back it off. So you can just do a lot of test shifts and see uh, which one's gonna work best. And uh, we've got it just right. We want this uh, gap between the outer cage and the chain to be as narrow as possible without the two touching. That's gonna keep the chain from falling off on the outside. For more videos on how to adjust your bike, check out the Learning Center at artscyclery.com. 